welcome to Heather Broadbent's online violin studio. This video is located in Gabriville, Bulgaria, looking over the city behind me. In this video, we will talk about bow exercises for muscle development. This is our second video for bow exercises. You want to master the first video before you attempt these exercises. The first exercise that we have is what I call pinky push-ups. This helps strengthen the pinky. It's very important that he is strong. So what you want to do at first is take your left hand and hold the tip of the bow. This helps alleviate the weight. This is like the bow taps that we did in the first video. But in this video, we're advancing. So you want to start with that left hand holding the tip. Make sure your bow hold is very good. Everybody's in place, thumb is bent, pinky curves, index finger nice and relaxed. And once you have that, then you want to take your left hand away from the tip and just hold the bow with the right hand. The first step is to actually take your index finger off of the bow and be able to hold the bow horizontally uh, without any problems. That's the first step. Then once you feel good with that and you can do it comfortably, the second step is to do the pinky push-up. Your thumb is like a fulcrum. The fulcrum on a teeter-totter, the triangle underneath the teeter-totter, and your bow is going to move back and forth on your thumb. So basically you just take your pinky and you push down. And as you can see, my index finger is not on the bow. The pinky pushes down and the bow goes up. Pinky pushes down and the bow goes up. You lightly let the bow come down. And you do this quite a few times. Don't do it more than your pinky is able to if you start getting tired. You'll feel your pinky shake until the muscles develop, but it's normal. And then after a while, maybe a week, maybe a couple weeks, you're going to be able to do this e e easily. The other exercise that we have for muscle development of the right hand is what I call the spider. Now this is fairly tricky too. You want to keep this bow hold looking really good, no problems, making sure your thumb is bent and your pinky is curved. Now what you're going to do is crawl up the stick. And you want to do this keeping your thumb nice and bent. And you're probably going to be able to do this fairly easily, no problem. But you do want to make sure that you don't touch the horse hair and you keep your bow uh, nice and straight. Now, this is where the challenge comes in. You get to do that spider, but you're going to be doing it going back to the frog. You don't have gravity helping you this time. You have to do it all on your own. So you want to keep that thumb nice and bent and eventually get back to the frog. This helps finger independence and also uh, coordination of the fingers working together as a team. So we did the pinky push-ups and then the spider. The final exercise I have for you is to help the fingers move together in a direction that's good for uh, the collé stroke on the violin. Uh, you want to move your fingers up and down. Now, you do this with the bow still straight up and down. And as you can see, the bow moves up about an inch. And this just helps with the fingers to move together and to move the bow. You want to make sure your bow is moving only straight up and down, not in and out. Only straight up and down. Please be sure to check out the Kole video where we'll talk more about this motion and apply it to the violin. It's important to get this first before adding it to the violin. So good luck with your muscle development exercises for the bow hold and happy practicing. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out other videos on onlineviolin.net.